The Mecha sheet metal brake is a high capacity sheet metal forming machine used to bend 10 gauge and thicker material. Jan Minetti, faculty lead of the ME department machine shop, challenged us to design and manufacture solutions that would fix existing performance issues and allow for greater ease of use while improving the machine's capabilities. Our new top dies that dictate the geometry of the bend being made copy the geometry of the existing top die, save for the length, which we altered to enable boxes to be made. The final front table design uses precisely spaced holes that allow a movable square to be placed at any required position and angle. The back gauge mounts to the back side of the machine using existing hole locations and can be adjusted anywhere between 1.5 and 24 inches. Our team performed feasibility analysis to understand if our specific design choices met customer requirements. This included measuring parts and subsystems as well as finite element analysis. Parts dimension were measured and recorded in process and post heat treat to ensure that they're within tolerance. Following heat treat, all parts still met specification and nothing needed to be remanufactured. We performed finite element analysis on the back gauge to determine if our design could support a worst case use scenario. The results show design could easily support the max load with a factor safety of nearly 12. From our CAD designs, drawings were made for the various components. The top dies were machined to an oversized dimension before being sent to heat treatment, where the dies were hardened to prevent long-term wear and oxidation. After heat treatment, additional processing was completed. Since the Mecha Break is a handmade machine, we experienced several challenges when attempting to design parts to interface with it. One issue we encountered was that many of the bolt holes on the brake are not in line with each other, requiring us to design our parts with adjustment slots so that we could account for any differences in alignment. Another issue was that we also had to cut release slots into the front cover to avoid interference with the front square. Several maintenance items also need to be addressed to bring the machine back in a proper working order. First, a leaking hydraulic hose would be replaced. Then, if the contaminated fluid in the machine was flush. Finally, one of those cylinders in the lower die had to be adjusted to ensure that the lower die would raise evenly. The schematic of the hydraulic system and maintenance checklist were also made to increase documentation for the machine.